All right, Derek, first off, not a bad way to spend a Tuesday out here. Beautiful weather, Southern Highlands. Just about talk about being out here today. We absolutely love it here um, at Southern Highlands. You know, it's one of the uh, first couple of places my wife and I looked. And as soon as we came out here, obviously, we fell in love. Uh, and my boys love it. They're out here hitting balls all the time with me, and uh, it's a it's a good time. So yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas. And um, you know, especially after the year where it was completely shut down, now that you have a chance to actually be out in the Las Vegas community, you were the Grand Marshal at the uh, Speedway. I saw you preaching this beautiful message at the Church of Las Vegas or LV. Um, what's it like to actually start to make an imprint on this Las Vegas community? Well, you know, it's it's who I am on the inside. You know, I wanted to you know be someone that people don't just see as an idol type of person, but they just see as someone that's a part of their community and uh, someone that the kids can look up to, um, someone that does things the right way um, and hopefully make an impact, you know, in the city that we live in, that we call home. And uh, it was a crazy 12 months. Uh, you know, I think we've been here a little over a year now and it was crazy because you couldn't really go talk to people. You know, everyone was staying away from each other for, uh, for a good reason, um, but now, uh, now that vaccines are happening and the distancing and the numbers are going down and all those kind of things, it's good that we can come out and get to know the people of the community. You know, the mom and pop shops that have been here for 30 years, you know, fit or more. And, uh, you know, starting to meet people and impact, impact their lives has been a lot of fun. And you mentioned your wife. You guys have put, you know, a lot of time and effort into the Valley Children's Hospital. Can you talk about that and how much that means to both you and your family and everything? Well, yeah, I mean, the people of Las Vegas, they may not know, but uh, we have four children. Uh, our oldest boy, Dallas, um, had three surgeries at Valley Children's Hospital. Uh, his intestines were all messed up, for lack of a better term. And, uh, you know, he had to have surgeries there and he almost didn't make it. But uh, we thank God that we had a place like Valley Children's that could help save his life. So um, any chance we get to raise money or uh, promote awareness to that place, we do. Because uh, we were parents of a, a child that was a patient there, you know, and we know the pain and the struggle, especially as college kids fin financially, you know, you get freaked out. What do we have? What are we going to do? You know, uh, things that you don't even know the answers to. And so we just try and ease that burden as best as we can for the for the parents and the and really the kids that are going through what they're going through there. And you mentioned your kids. Um, how was being a girl dad? We asked you this way back. Um, now you got four months under your belt. What's yeah. it like? I mean, I can see your face lit up. So there oh, you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She can she can do no wrong. You know, my boys come in the room. And it's like, what's up, bro? They're like saying, what's up, dad? You know, and then when she comes in the room, she just lights it up. You know, yeah. uh, her face is uh, so beautiful. You know, she's so peaceful. She's so joyful. She uh, she brings so much joy to our family. You know, and then at any moment you walk into our house, one of my boys, if not Heather, I are holding her, you know, they just, they absolutely love her. And, uh, so do I. So it's been a lot of fun. That's awesome. And a couple more for you, I promise. Um, you know, we mentioned girl dad, obviously that, that phrase was kind of coined because of Kobe. I know you're a huge Kobe fan. He was a fan of the WNBA, obviously, uh, Mark Davis bought the aces. How much do you watch the WNBA? I know he referred to the aces and the Raiders as brothers and sisters. Now, how cool is that to kind of have the aces as quote unquote, your sisters? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, and it, What's, what's nice about being a girl dad now is what you're starting to see is the communication of, you know, women's sports is, is becoming more and more popular. You know, there's starting to be more highlights on TV. There's starting to be more communication about it. And that's exciting for my daughter, you know, if, she, if that's what she wants to do. You know, uh, I know it's exciting for some of my nieces that, uh, that play basketball. One plays softball and basketball and uh, runs track, plays golf, you know, and uh, the fact that, um, you know, they're going to get a great opportunity now. Um, to be able to do those things and hopefully do them at a college or professional level. Um, it's exciting for me, you know, so uh, hopefully, hopefully when my, when my little girl grows up, she'll be able to go <laughs> shoot some hoops over there and have some fun with that. Sure. But uh, yeah, it's very exciting. And no football questions, I was told, but just fans, the potential yeah. of fans in the stands next year. Yeah. Um, how exciting is that? Especially after the season, I mean, brand new stadium, no fans, unfortunately, but yeah this year something to look forward to for sure yeah everyone kept telling me uh when we moved here how awesome the knights games were you know and how rowdy that environment was and i told him i was like you know I, I bet it was but just wait till these raider fans show up and and this city catches that atmosphere as well so as great as this city is and how awesome they've been for the knights i think it's going to go to another level um for our raiders um because i've seen it firsthand there's nothing like it 
uh, I've been here. This will be my eighth year with the team, and uh, I won't play for anybody else. You know, it's just that special to me. So uh, I'm very excited to finally get to play in front of the people I've gotten to meet around town. I mean, literally everybody I've met, like, man, we have tickets. I'm like, well, I can't wait for you to come to a game. It'll be so fun. So uh, we need that home field advantage. So Las Vegas, get ready. You know, we're going to need you. Awesome. You win this thing today? I heard your golf yeah, yeah, game's better, not too shabby. Yeah, yeah, we better win. Yeah, <laughs> uh, me and Renfro, we got, we got big plans, so we better win this thing.